Welcome to the heart of Texas, where the larger than life skies stretch far and wide. Here, the vast terrain unfolds from open fields to dense brush, offering a haven for countless wild hogs. It's a hunter's paradise where day or night, the thrill of spot and stock boar hunting awaits at every turn. Texas promises a hunting adventure unlike any other. But that's not all. Our journey continues to the exhilarating world of the Total Archery Challenge 3D course in San Antonio. Join us as we explore the heart-pounding excitement of spot and stock pig hunting in the Lone Star State and the challenge found in each TAC event. Everything is bigger in Texas, including this adventure and hunt to remember. We just rolled into Coleman, Texas. I'm really excited. We're gonna be spending the next couple of days here doing some shooting. Uh, we're gonna hunt uh, for pigs and we're gonna hunt for coyotes and just all around have a good time. Uh, great state of Texas. I mean, everything's bigger here. So we're sitting up and I just shot uh, out to 500 yards, making sure all my data's tracking and everything's good. In a land where opportunities abound and the thrill of the chase is as timeless as the Texas horizon, the cover of darkness has been a sanctuary for coyotes and wild hogs. But that has drastically evolved as modern hunters have spearheaded innovations in equipment and transformed nighttime hunting. We can now navigate the nighttime with enhanced visibility allowing us to operate with precision, even in darkness. Wild hog and coyote hunting is now a sophisticated pursuit where tradition blends with innovation to meet the demands of modern hunting and successful wildlife management practices. First morning out, we hunted last night without any luck, but we had a lot of wind and the predator hunting just didn't pan out for us. So we're gonna go try this morning. Today, we're gonna hope for some pigs during the day, but they've not been moving much during the day because it's so hot. Things you guys think you got on this ranch? Yeah, there's three to four thousand pigs out here. You'll see them on the wheat tonight. They're hanging up in the heat in these this thick brush, and uh, we just kind of still hunted through here. I heard all these pigs in here, and I told Yogi we should stop for a second because I could hear them with my with my tetras on. And Yogi's like, "There's one right there," and so I just set up and and shot this big old sow and um, boy, it was like the forest came alive. Holy smokes, there's pigs going everywhere.
Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Night Force Optics. Rugged, reliable, repeatable. And On X Hunt. Know where you stand. As the daylight begins to fade, my anticipation grows knowing the wild hogs will often emerge from the dense cover and venture into open crop fields to feed, directly competing with cattle for resources. Before we shift our focus to hunting with thermals, I'm eager to make another attempt at spot and stock boar hunting during the day. Yeah, 415. 415? Okay. 400. 400. Mm. Get him. Down. <laughs> Good shot. I did not try to head shoot him this time. <laughs> he went down hard. Dude. That's awesome. We're out here in a, a big ag field and um, you guys can see the crop behind me and this is a cattle farm and these pigs come out here and just do a tremendous amount of crop damage. You know, these ranchers and farmers are real thankful to have people come out and hunt these pigs and, and do a little bit of management. We've had to really hunt hard. We went from, you know, working up creek bottoms. Everything's been spot and stock and um, it's been a true excitement. You know, this was a fun shot. It was a 400 yard shot off sticks and, you know, challenging um, just just to have good equipment and put it to the test and have everything work out and uh, a lot of fun. This has been a great day so far. I don't know, man, it doesn't get much better than this, that's for sure. There is a unique rush that comes from stalking under the cover of darkness. It is both thrilling and a highly effective way to manage these out of control populations. With so many hunting opportunities, I'm beginning to think that Texas might be the state that never sleeps. Yesterday we had a lot of luck. Um, walking up these creek bottoms. And I got that really nice sow and Yogi had a chance at a boar. So we're gonna take the 4570 because the pigs aren't gonna be out again until late tonight. So Yogi's gonna grab the 4570. And since I've already taken two pigs with a rifle, I'm gonna take my bow. And if I can get in bow range on a pig, um, we're gonna try to make that happen today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Well, we got a. I got six. We got Logan set up with my Ruger Red Label, and uh, oh, no, it's he's gonna be on shotgun because where we're going is like super thick. And uh, I'm gonna have a bow, and Yogi's at the 4570. And my only ask is that they don't let me get taken out by a pig. <laughs> Thank you guys. Good shot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Killed one. You okay? Finally got my pig. <sighs> that was fun. We just spent the last 15 hours. Uh, got to tack in San Antonio. So Yogi and I are gonna get our bows out. Made it to Tack in San Antonio. Yeah. Perfect conditions. No wind. 
And we're gonna keep all of our arrows today. Yeah, hopefully. Archers around the country unite at Total Archery Challenge events for some serious bonding and epic shooting scenarios. It is the ultimate chance to push our skills and gear to the limit before hunting season ramps up. So we're in line for the Ultra View course, which uh, is supposed to be the most scenic course here. About two hour shoot and uh, moderate range, but more technical in shot, so kind of fun. I'm ready. Losing arrows? <laughs> <laughs> no, today we're keeping all of our arrows and we're just practicing. We just saw that phone and then <laughs> if I can lose a six dollar arrow on this one. First shot of the day. No pressure. Look good. Didn't break it. I went in for the front shoulder. Well, we're not looking for arrows yet, so that's a win. <laughs> <laughs> so it's perfect. Yeah. Perfect snake country here. I heard it hit, but yep, nope. where did it hit is I, the question. High, high vitals. High vitals. It's like the walk of shame when you miss your target here and you're like, ah. We'll die. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. technical target I started and I shot a branch so uh, we're gonna let Yogi go first on this one which we're shooting in our modello with branches in the way also so we'll see how this goes Impact! 70 yard doll sheep through the brush last shot of the day hopefully I don't lose my arrow on this one Impact! After another round of challenging targets and gear hunting at Total Archery Challenge, we're stoked to head back to Texas later this year for another shot at hunting wild hogs. Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Tinks, America's number one buck lure, and Dead Down Wind, real science, real results. As the seasons change, the call for wild hog management persists alongside the thrill of hitting the field with friends to hunt this invasive species. It's all about tackling a need for conservation while having a blast outdoors. We're gonna go and try to find some pigs. We're gonna try to bow hunt, but we don't have good wind. So we're gonna go see if we can't spot these pigs a little bit farther in distance and do some shooting. I mean, we're here to hunt pigs, whether, whether that's archery or rifle. It's all a good time, so I'm not complaining. We use the terrain to our advantage as we move around the farm to glass the various feeders with the hope of spotting daylight feeding pigs. What brings it all together is witnessing the dedication and innovation of our friends translate into top-notch hunting products. We built these to last a really long time. Our deer feeders are just like way overbuilt. I mean, we put eight inch wall tube in the legs 
the hoppers all 16 gauge steel. A lot of feeders out there will be thin, like air conditioner duct sheet metal. They just rivet it together. This thing's solid and steel. Flex and bend yeah. when you move them. Mm -hmm. And they take that thin sheet metal and rivet it, and they squirt silicone everywhere inside it, trying to keep it waterproof. And after that silicone gets hot and shrinks and expands for four or five years, then they just bleed water. These are all welded. What makes America truly special is the opportunity to turn your dreams into reality. American manufacturing thrives in the great state of Texas, where my friends at Longhorn Manufacturing are dedicated to crafting top tier feeders and hunting blinds. It's a testament of the spirit of innovation and quality craftsmanship that defines American made excellence for the ultimate experience during your hunting adventures. In Texas, getting ready to go see if I can't uh, bow hunt some pigs. There's a little clearing that these guys have grubbed out and the pigs are using it as a trail. We got a pig spotted this morning in the dark and it's on the edge of this tree line, so I'm gonna grab my bow and we're gonna work the edge of this tree line. I'm gonna try to get a shot on him before he disappears into the timber. Daylight, bow, spot this job, not on feed, it's hard. After several unsuccessful attempts at spot and stock hunting with my bow, I decide to switch gears for my final hunt and opt for my Ruger American rifle instead. This pig uh, ran off this field edge here and went into the tree. So we're gonna try to canvas this thick stuff and see if we can't find it. Boy, it's a good time to come here and hunt hunt pigs. It, it's good trigger time, good practice getting off and on your sticks. And, and the farmers are always grateful. They cannot keep these pigs managed. They, they're out here rooting pulling up their winter wheat. You get to see some beautiful country. I really enjoy what Texas has to offer as far as pig hunting. Of 
flying over them. So I just set up to shoot one of these pigs and a helicopter came down and just low flew and blew the whole herd out. So, uh, <laughs> game over. As we run out of daylight, we wrap up our Texas hunt with some spot and stock hunting using thermals. We have enjoyed our time in the Lone Star State where every moment offers a chance for adventure and the promise of a hunt to remember. Thank you for watching this episode of Pursue the Wild. Jump behind the scenes with us for our podcast, Wild and Uncut, or tune into our digital lifestyle show, Our Wild Life. You can stream everything on my website, pursuethewild.com, and be sure to follow me on social media, at Christy Titus.